David started his own business um, back about, it was about 22 years ago. Uh, started doing construction, but he started out with a truck and a couple tools and developed it to be very large and very successful. About nine, ten years ago, Stephen was at a job site and got his lungs contaminated uh, from um, some paint had, had coated his lungs and he ended up in the hospital. He was in and out of the hospital with severe depression and went through emotional things and because he, his body was just doing a flip from what had happened to him. I try to keep everything going as long and as, you know, as much as I could. We had life insurance, but I let it lapse thinking that, you know, we can get it later. Unbeknowing to Steve, my husband, that I let it lapse. And I truly blame myself for our life right now because it would have been different. My mom decided that we needed a change because the company was going under bankruptcy. We decided to, you know, sell the house and sell everything and then move down to Florida to get him healthy. And then when we moved to Lake Mary, we couldn't find a house for to rent for like a long time, so we lived in a hotel for three months. We moved into the house. We were so tired of being in the hotel that we didn't mind sleeping on the floor. The next morning, my son had to go on a field trip, and he, was tr I told him to get his father up to take him. So when I go to wake him up, come on, Dad, let's go. Start moving an arm, you know, come on, pulling him. And then I, then I see, then I start messing with his head, like, come on, Dad, what's up? I jumped up real fast and went over to see what was going on, and the kids were all crying, and Bree said, Mom, he's blue. I tried to give him CPR, and I couldn't even get any breath out of me to give him CPR. Finally, the ambulance got there, and then they came out of the room and said that he had been gone, that he had passed in the night. Stephen was 44 years old when he had passed away. Things got so bad at one point after my dad passed away that we lost our house that he passed away in and two apartments after that. And then later on, we had to live with family friends. And my brothers lived with one family at their house, and I lived with my mom at another family's house. And my mom was struggling with work, working a lot, not making very good money. I was working 80 hours. There was times that I didn't get home until 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. There was like no money to pay bills. We got evicted three times. If my father had life insurance, we probably wouldn't have had as hard of a time as we did. It was a blessing to have people help us the way they did, but it would have been a bigger blessing to have life insurance. I tell everybody, I said, nobody's promised tomorrow, so what you can take care of today to alleviate some of the stress on your family, it's definitely behoove of everyone to have it. You can't plan death. You don't know when it's going to happen, and life insurance is a very smart thing. When I graduated from high school, I felt like I needed to stay home to help my mom because she was working full time, and my three little brothers were too young to take care of themselves. Renew was cooking for us, and taking care of us and like what do our laundry. She became someone to look up to while my mother went to work and paid the bills and tried to take care of us kids. I first heard about the Life Lesson Scholarship on the UCF Financial Aid website. The Life Lesson Scholarship is gonna help me pay for my tuition and my books. I cried. <laughs> I called my mom and said out of something so bad like how can something so good come out of something so bad. I think her future looks so bright and she will be just this light for others. They went through a crisis that just happened overnight, and as hard as it was on her, she, she just knew that she had to take care of her family, and she went to it, and just full force. She's just the most amazing person with so much compassion, and she told me many times that she wanted to be a role model for her brother, and everything that Bree does just showed me she can triumph through anything. She's very strong individual and very motivated. We definitely experienced the bottom. It was an experience that made me a stronger person.